Assalamu alaikum and hello everyone the mad programmer here I hope you all liked and found my last video helpful in case you didn't watch it click on this link appearing on the screen or in the description below in the last video we covered the hello world program commenting and the setup of visual studio and in this tutorial we will be covering up escape sequences like what are escape sequences why we use them why we need them well then without further delay let's get started the steps are the same like in the last tutorial click on visual studio if you guys want to use your previous project simply just click on that or you can just make a new project select an empty project I'll call this one session do click on OK wait for the program to load go to source files right click add if you guys want to use an, a previous C++ file just simply click on that by going to existing items find it and click on that or you can make a new CPP file by clicking on new items select the C++ file I'll also call this one session 2 it's not necessarily you write the same name for the project and for the f item also but I find this more organizing and more efficient now before we start let's increase the screen size this is from where we increase the screen size 130% should be enough comment escape sequence before I tell you what escape sequences or escape character as you also call them are and their usage in the program I'll make a program like in the last tutorial the same one pound include I was stream pound include conio dot h using namespace standard semicolon void function which is our main function brackets more brackets get character brackets semicolon I explained the usage of the IO stream Konya library the using namespace standard also in the previous tutorial so watch that if something is unclear let's get started on our program see out extraction operator speech marks Oh, before this always before this always write the layout of the program first since this will be our layout for almost every program when we write the layout first we are able to avoid errors and we can make our program more efficient that way sometimes if sometimes you forget to add brackets or to close brackets this helps prevent that now let's get started again see out space extraction operator semi uh, speech marks semicolon hello YouTube now I want to add another line in this program see out speech marks semicolon by the mad programmer now I want by the mad programmer to show in the next line let's build our solution also it's not necessary that we always 
click on build solution some compilers build the solution automatically when you click on debugging such as this one if it doesn't click on build solution always recommended that you click build solution first now as you can see in the command prompt hello youtube by the mad programmer this all came in one line if i want to show this in the next line i can simply add another extraction operator here and write end line and ls abbreviation for it and debug the program again as you can see hello youtube new line by the mad programmer now if i don't want to write new line or i want that blinking icon this blinking icon to appear on the start of new line this is where we use escape characters the different escape characters each and every one has a different function and i used in various means in a program here's a list of escape characters escape sequences are basically characters that come after a backslash here's the list of them backslash a represents a system bell it gives a beep sound in the program backslash b represents a backspace backslash f represents form feed which means page break backslash n represents a new line it does the same function as n line backslash r which means carriage return basically just returns the cursor to start of the line backslash t represents a tab backslash backslash represents a backslash pretty confusing backslash apostrophe represents single quote for the character backslash speech mark represents a double quote for the character we won't be covering all the escape sequences in today's tutorial but we will cover quite a few of them do practice them and use different escape sequences in your programs and see what you get in the output and share your experience also well then let's get started on our program as we saw in the escape sequences list by simply adding a backslash n over here we can get a new line within this statement hello youtube new line by the mad programmer now if i want to show a backspace over here and want to move the cursor line at the start of the new line i'll be using escape characters if i don't i can't show them such as i wrote a backslash over here and i want to show in the command prompt the backslash although written it's not visible but if i write another backslash over here and run the program now is a backslash is now visible on the command prompt now i want to add speech marks on hello youtube and i want this blinking cursor to come on the start of the new line i'll simply add speech i'll simply add escape characters now if i write over here speech marks this simply gives an error but if i write backslash over here this becomes an escape character and we can now run it and if i write backslash r over here this will return the cursor to the starting line of the new line hello youtube is now in speech marks and the blinking cursor is at the start of the new line well this covers up today's tutorial i hope you found it helpful and according to your needs or likings and in the next tutorial we will be covering up arithmetic operators and how to take inputs from the user using different data types in the command prompt also if i missed out anything or you guys have any suggestion please comment them or in case you have any problems comment that too i'll reply to each and every comment please like this video 
and share this video on your social websites such as Facebook or in Twitter or any other. Also subscribe to my channel. I'll be uploading a video each week and slowly we'll cover the basis of programming. Thank you.